What's up, YouTube? My name is Christian. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Um, topic for today's video will be about anxiety. And fun fact, if you are watching this video, that is my first official video of my channel. So thank you so much. Yes, I know, round of applause. I finally started a YouTube channel. What? It's crazy. But um, yes, the topic for today's video will be about anxiety because anxiety is one thing that a lot of us suffer and go through and it sucks. I've had it since I was little. Um, I didn't realize I had anxiety until high school, but we will dive deeper into that. So yeah, pretty much sit back, relax, have a cup of water with me, you know, hydrate. And let's get started. By the way, don't mind my hair. I was at school and work all day, so yeah, it's a mess, I know, I need a haircut. Anyways, let's go, because uh, I'm anxious to do this video, <laughs> actually, I'm a little nervous, this is like my 17th take, but let me start, no more bullshit. Okay, so um, I've had anxiety since I was little, um, when I was younger, I was incredibly shy, like socially awkwardly shy. Um, I used to hate talking to people because I was scared, I was terrified, and it wasn't just your typical shyness. I was very paranoid. I thought everybody was talking about me. I was very scared. I always had negative thoughts. Like I said, I was socially anxious. I was actually scared to be around a group of people. So when I came to United States, when I, um, I lived in Colombia for a year, year and a half, and then I moved back to America. And that's when I realized, like, my social anxiety was actually pretty bad. And, yeah, it sucked. Ruined a lot. Uh, grew up with it, basically. Um, middle school had it. High school had it. Still have it. <laughs> and college and all this and that. So, um, it's definitely affected relationships and friendships that I could have had. Because I'm just too paranoid. I'm too scared. I'm too caught up or... My body's kind of like in a fight or flight mode. And it's like, what do I do? Like, your body's not meant to be in that. So, yeah, it sucks. So, if you have anxiety, I know exactly what you're going through. Because, trust me, been there, done that, and still going through it. So, you're not alone. I'm out here. If you ever need to talk, hit me up, comment, go on my YouTube, I mean my Instagram. Hit me up, go on my Twitter. Shoot, if you really need it, ask for my number. I will be out there to talk to people because this is what you need to do when you have these issues you need to talk um one thing i will always say about mental health is that my mental illness lives with me i do not live with my mental health my mental illness sorry um and what do i mean by that is my mental illness will not dictate how i live my life i dictate how i live my life okay and that's a message i want you guys to embody as well because depression anxiety and all this other stuff does not rule you it just happens to be a part of your story that's it that's all it is okay so yeah so i'm not gonna go into detail hopefully a lot of you know what, how anxiety affects people how what anxiety is but uh more or less like i said before anxiety is kind of like when your body's on that flight or flight it sucks. It's like when you're paranoid, negative thoughts, you're incredibly scared, um, socially anxious, and you could even have panic attacks. Panic attacks, sorry. So how to deal with anxiety? Uh, this is one that I've learned throughout the years. I'm about to turn 24 this summer, and trust me, a couple of these I started learning when I was 22. So the past year and a half, two years. I finally learned how to control my anxiety. So, yeah. So this is what uh, the first one I actually started doing was breathing, breathing exercises. I learned that breathing actually lowers your blood pressure and kind of controls your nervous system from that frenzy that you're in when you're having anxiety. So what I mean by breathing, like I'm breathing right now and you're breathing right now is you're watching this video, hopefully, and you're not dead because that would be weird. But anyways breathing there's different kinds of breathing the one that i do is a i consider it a three layer type of breathing see your lungs have three chambers they have a top chamber a middle chamber and a lower chamber so the breathing exercises that i do is to achieve filling up each chamber with as much air that i can so for example It's 
So each time I took a deep breath, I went deeper and deeper. And that's what it is. You First one, you want to feel like your head is about to explode. The second one is your chest is going to explode. And the third one is your stomach is going to explode. Because that's how much air you trapped in there. By the way, I know, I'm congested. I'm sorry for that little noise or whistle my nose made. <laughs> but yes, so breathing is a huge thing. You want to get that fresh oxygen in your system. You want to get that CO2 or whatever out of your body. Okay? You want to refresh in yourself. Um, getting your mind off current issues. If you're at work, if you're at school, if you're stressing about something, forget about it. Listen, take a breath, uh, take a break, and breathe. <laughs> um, isolate yourself. Um, I've had panic attacks at work. My, I work with my mom. She's seen me go through it. At this point, I know what to do. Sometimes I'll get up, go to the bathroom, put some cold water on my face, do my breathing exercises, tell myself it's going to be okay. Because it is. You're currently freaking out about something because you're overthinking about it. That's not good. That's that's not what we have to do. We're better than that. I'm better than that, and you're better than that. Um, we need to realize that we are human, and if we made mistakes, it happens. But it's how you handle those mistakes and go about it that what matters, okay? So don't overthink about it. Don't get anxious. Don't go into a panic attack. Um, and these are a couple of these tips I'm about to say right now. It's from a great friend of mine. Her name is Natalia, amazing photographer, by the way. Um, I will post her Instagram in the description because you need to check her out. She's amazing. But uh, she said staying grounded. And that's like one of the ones that's like amazing, like staying grounded. Like this is what I can control. This is now and that. And like, that's awesome. That's amazing. That that helps her. Um, another one that she said is I actually have to write this down because the way she worded it was beautiful and perfect. So I'm going to repeat it back to you word for word. She said, giving oneself positive affirmations, which usually is a reminder that life is fluid and constantly changing. The moment I am living in now is not going to last forever. I define the situation. The situation doesn't define me. I, I don't know how I could better say that. Like, like, that's perfect. Like, the moment I am living in now, and it's not going to last forever. And that's what happens when you're going through an anxiety attack, a panic attack. You think you're flipping out about this one current situation when it's just like a page in like your book of life. Like, dude, don't worry about a page or a female. Sorry. Don't worry about a page. Get through it. Get over it. Like, it's OK. Not every story is perfect. There's always going to be bumps in the road. You just got to get over that bump. and Keep going. So I love how she worded that. Um, and then she also mentioned making time for oneself and prioritizing your own life. And that's one thing that we don't do. And I know me specifically myself. I prioritize so many other people over myself. I've done that since I was little. Realizing your self-worth is amazing. Like, I've finally learned how valuable I am. And my life has gotten so much better ever since then. And valuing my time and everything is perfect. Because I try to give myself at least an hour a day which sounds like a lot, but, and I do it in increments, try to give myself time to think, breathe, have like that moment or clarity, meditate almost in a sense, and yeah, that's and one huge thing, and a huge, huge thing I want to prioritize right now, drugs and alcohol are not how you deal with anxiety, depression, or any issues like that, I repeat, Drugs and alcohol are not the way to go. We've lost too many damn people to that. And I don't want any of you to be next. Listen, if you want to smoke your weed, smoke your weed. That's fine. But don't use it to hide issues that you have. And same with alcohol. Don't get blackout drunk on a damn Wednesday. Because work was stressful. Do some yoga. Meditate. Find hobbies and things to do that will better you, you mentally and physically. Okay? Because what you put into your body and how you handle situations is huge. Your body is a plant. You are a temple. What you feed yourself with or who you let into this temple is huge. Because that is... Is what's going to grow inside of you. So decide what you want to let grow. Like I said. We are plants. You are a seed. 
and you are going to grow. Do you want to be fertilized and healthy? Or do you want to be a shitty plant that's wilted and basically dead? And no, that's not what we want. We want everybody to be a beautiful garden. Okay? And yes, and if you stuck around this long, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. This is my first YouTube video. Um, It's not the greatest, but I actually feel better now that I've actually finally got it out of the way. And yes, so on that note, uh, peace, love, and positivity to you all. I love every single person out there. So like, comment, subscribe, share the video if you think this could possibly help somebody. I know it wasn't the greatest video, but hey, shoot a share will help get one more person to view this. Who knows? Maybe I wasn't able to help you, but maybe I could help somebody. So, yeah, until the next video, YouTube. Thank you. Bye.